So I get a lot of questions about how to do these custom maps that I do and play with people online. Psyonix does not make it easy, that's for sure. But we found ways to do it. A lot of modding people have come together and created programs and plugins that actually help us connect to each other in a situation where we can actually load up the maps and play together. Now, I've been asked so many times to do this tutorial, I feel like it was inevitable that I make one of these again. I made an old tutorial that does not work anymore since Rocket Launcher is now obsolete, but the new method is actually faster and more convenient and way, way nicer to use uh, nowadays and makes the connection a lot faster once you do the setup for the first time. Now, as I'm showing a preview of the custom app that's coming out tomorrow, uh, Bouncy Castle. Welcome everyone to the Bouncy Castle where I am stuck in the red Bouncy Castle. <laughs> you can see it can be a lot of fun and I, I think that this is definitely something that needs to be in Rocket League at some point, like I've been talking about in the past. I think this is definitely an avenue of the game that will keep it fresh and interesting so i hope you guys enjoy definitely check out the custom maps and let's get right into it All right, so the setup process for custom maps might seem daunting at first, but it's really not that bad. Once you get it set up for the first time, you're good forever, and the change between maps is actually quite quick. So there's a few things you'll need. Number one, you'll need the workshop textures that allows you to see the textures in the game, because everyone has to have the same textures package uh, in order to load it up, or else you'll get a content mismatch. So if you see a content mismatch when you do this kind of setup, just remember that everyone has to have the same map and the same textures in the files. So there's workshop textures, then there's a way to connect to each other, either through direct IP of your public IP or through a VPN and I'll show you how to do that either way. The third thing you'll need is Bakke's mod and then you'll need a plugin called Rocket Plugin which is on the Bakke's mod website. The final thing you'll need is a location to load up the custom maps and I'll describe all of these in order and show you how to do it very very quickly and very easily. So for your convenience I've actually taken the workshop textures file off of the Rocket League mods website which you need to sign in for. I've taken them off the website and put them into a direct drive that you guys can access and just take for yourselves. So what you want to do is take the workshop texture zip file, unzip it, and what you're going to want to do is go through the Steam library on your computer. Go through Steam, then Steam apps, Common, Rocket League, TA game, and Cooked PC console. Take all of the files inside the Rocket League workshop textures zip file and drag them into a cooked pc console once you've done that while you're in cooked pc console right click anywhere next to the files and hit new make a new folder and call it mods we'll come back to that later now that we have the workshop textures the next thing to do is make sure we can connect to our host uh, the host will be one of the people that we play with it's usually me when i'm creating these new maps but the way that we do it, we connect through Hamachi, which is a VPN service. You can also use a direct IP as well. Direct IP is a little bit more sketchy since it is your public IP. I tend not to do that just because I want to make sure that that's safe. Uh, but if you do want to use direct IP through public IP, all you have to do is type in what is my IP in Google and it will come up at the top of the screen. But to get a VPN like Hamachi, all you have to do is go to VPN.net and then download the program. Make sure you check off all the weird like external programs uh, that they try to make you install. But then once you have it running, all you have to do is sign up with a new profile file and then click network when your power is on. If you're trying to create a new network, click create new network and put in a name and password. That's the information that you send to your friends that you want to join. Once you create a network, your friends have to join an existing network and put in that information. Then they will join one of the spots in the network. Each network that you create only has five spots, but it's important to know that as long as someone is connected to you in some way, they can connect to you in the lobby. So if you have a six player lobby, 3v3, five of the players may be in one server, but you might have to create a second network to connect the last player to you. Once everyone's connected on the VPN, whatever service you use, Hamachi is the one we do, so that's why I'm describing this one. What you want to have them do is right click your, your network name and copy IPv4 address. To put it simply, this is basically like a, a masked public IP that you can use to connect to each other. So now if the network is online and you guys are both on Hamachi, you're now connected and ready to go into Bakismod. So moving on to Bakismod, all you have to do is go into Bakismod.com and then once you're on the website, you can download the program. Just run the EXE and it'll be installed on your computer. To get Rocket Plugin, go onto the Bakismod website as well. Go to Plugins and then type in Rocket Plugin. Download this. The easiest way to do it is have Bakismod running and then hit Install with Plugin Manager. What will happen is it'll say, would you like to run this? Hit Yes. And then a black command box should show up and you just hit enter when it's done. If that doesn't work, what you have to do is go into explore files on Bakke's mod and then unzip the plugin and take all of the pieces from each folder and put them in the exact same folder that is laid out in the Bakke's mod files. So for example, if in settings there's the dot set, put it with all the other dot sets that are in the Bakke's mod settings already.
And there you go. Now you have Bacchus Mod installed. The last thing to do to get set up is to have the file location set up. So that's what we had the mods folder created for earlier. So the way we do it now through our connections is we always use the mods folder to replace the underpass map with the map we want to play. So how it works is the maps that we create on the workshop, we take that file name and we rename it to labs underscore underpass underscore p dot upk. It's very important that it's dot upk instead of dot udk and all the capitals matter as well. When you load up Rocket League, it should give you an ambiguous file warning. And that's actually a good sign. That means that what it what Rocket League has found is there's two files within the cooked PC console that have the name labs underscore underpass underscore p dot upk, but it is taking the most recently updated version. Now let's start off with Bacchus Mod hosting for the game server. So to do that, all you have to do is press home to open up the Rocket plugin GUI. If that doesn't open up, press F2 and go to the plugins on the very, very far right side. Then you can go to the Rocket plugin down the list and hit open GUI. Now that we have the Rocket plugin GUI open, there's a bunch of additional settings that you can mess with. If you want to open up a custom map, basically all you have to do is hit enable custom maps and then click the labs underscore underpass underscore P. And then you can change all the settings in the, the mutators and all the stuff like that. If you just want to load up underpass and do unlimited boost or something like that, you can actually go through local match and just simply run a local match Make sure there's no name or password. And it's very important that you have no name or password because if you have if you have a name and password, then people can't connect. So make sure everything's blank before you run local match. And then you can basically just run it up and then people can connect to you. To connect to the host of the server, all you have to do is go back to what I was talking about with the IPv4 address or public IP. If you use public IP, just copy that into the join local match inside the Rocket plugin. If you're on Hamachi or other VPNs, then you want to copy the IPv4 address and then place it in there. Keep the port as 7777 and you can put a password if you want but just don't have any name for it and that's pretty much it like that's not too, it's not too bad once you actually have it set up it does take a bit of setup for the first time but then all you have to do now whenever you do a new map is if you want to load up a map from the subscribed list that you have in workshop all you have to do is go to steam steam apps workshop and then go into content the number is on the screen here that you have to go into this folder i would i would pin it to quick access and then whenever you want to find a map you want to use i would just use a search bar and type it in for example portal here and then copy that and put it into mods and then rename it to labs underscore underpass underscore p dot upk. And then you just rinse repeat whenever get whatever game modes you want to play. You just feel free to drop it in there, or reload the game every time. Make sure the game reinitializes after replacing the files and you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope that was a quick little uh, tutorial. Uh, if you guys have any questions in the, uh, the comments, let me know and I'll be sure to try to get to as many as I can. But if you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, feel free to subscribe. I've been loving the support lately. We're almost actually at 200,000 subscribers, which is actually insane. I can't believe that that's been happening so quickly. But yeah, I'm gonna keep up the daily videos. If you guys have any more map suggestions, keep me posted on my Discord or even in the YouTube comments. So far, I have a few parkour map ideas and then I also have some battleship checkers connect four uh prop hunt summoner's rift from league of legends all that stuff there's so much going on i'm just constantly working on creating new stuff uh, even a p second portal map too anyways hope you guys enjoyed catch you guys in the next video just watch just watch go like because the groups on the bottom he's just like can't get any sort of he's just oh, i cannot oh wait until this map is released and people can play this because oh it's so God. dumb oh this is hilarious all right no yeah, kickoff goals remember Keep, oh, it, yeah, keep no, it clean, keep not. it PG. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice kickoff, boys. Wait. Oh, good. Take it out of here, hello. Hey, 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 boys. Right now. Why? I, Do it. Oh, my. Um, patience, patience, patience. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, my boys. God. Patience. Boys. Patience. Just oh. wait for it. All right, I'm going to straight. <laughs> no, we bounced. Yeah. <laughs> patience, <Get> patience. <laughs> <laughs> it went from being normal and calm to just no! John what? barking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even realize oh I'm doing God. that. Honestly, too. honestly, guys, I feel like if given the opportunity, we are going to get a bouncy house in real life. I'm so in. Oh I'm 1,000 percent. <gasps> I've made mistakes. Bouncy house just to have forever. <laughs> I'll, I'll host it at my oh, my no. new house, guys, in no. the backyard. There we go. No. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Red. Oh, my hero. No, that's you saved I was it. Trying to score. Wait. That's I, all part of the plan, dude. It's going in. I'm leaving because I'm so confident. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh, oh, oh my God. You were so you were so right. <sighs> Wait. Okay, I need to I need to recon. I need to. Oh. I need help. I need help. God only has I one life left. I need to chill. Oh, don't take him out. Don't take him out. I'm trying not to. You got to be kidding me. Get it out. Get it out. Take him out. Go red. Nope. Okay. Go no, red. You don't want that one. You don't want that one. You don't want that one. Oh. Last. Oh, <laughs>
Nice. Three <laughs> mistakes. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted, boys. Oh. Ooh. Ah, back we go. <laughs> <Are you kidding? laughs>